<laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. We all know that I'm a big shill of VT, the VT ETF, the Vanguard Total World Stock Market Index ETF. And I'm not a fan of narrowly focused, hyped up ETFs that a bunch of retail investors love to buy for various idiotic reasons. And one of those ETFs that I really don't like is SCHD, the SCHD ETF, which is basically a dividend ETF that has 100 high-yielding dividend payers that have to meet certain criteria. Now, Shada, as I call it, has done absolutely fantastic in the last 10 years. And what retail investors do, because they're absolute morons, is they go and they search for ETFs that have the most performance in the last 10 years. And they buy those ETFs because they really think investing is as simple as buying something that went up a lot. If it was that easy, everybody would do it and everybody would be rich. But it's actually not that simple. Investing, it, it is simple. But it takes a little bit of brain power, which a lot of retail investors that buy Shada invest. So they buy Shada because it went up, number one. And number two, they buy it because it's got dividends. Fake passive income, illusion, the illusion of passive income. Now, I was on the R. Boglehead subreddit, right? And I saw this amazing post. And this wasn't me, but this fits in so well with what the retail clowns are doing with this ETF. Because now that it's starting to underperform, which by the way, it's underperformed VT year to date pretty significantly. All of these clowns are talking about selling it now. Now, you, you can make fun of me for VT. You can say I'm a clown. You can say I'm a moron because I own international stocks. But guess what? I haven't sold VT because it underperformed VTI. No. As a matter of fact, I'm more convinced than ever. I don't have bussy hands like a lot of you retail clowns. But let's go ahead and talk about Shada. So if you don't know the history of this ETF, I actually debated Kingdom of Finance. This is the, uh, the guy on the left here, and then I'm the guy on the right. And we debated whether, you know, What's a better investment? The Vanguard Total World Stock Market Index Fund, which is a true index, or Shada, which is a fake index. It's a 100% it's a fake clownish index that people buy because of fake passive income. And, you know, the debate, I mean, some people say I won. Some people say Kingdom of Finance won. But now that VT has outperformed Shada pretty significantly in the past couple of months, I, I just think it's ironic. But let's go ahead and check out what the Bogleheads have to say. And then we're going to go and see all the retail clowns who are posting about Shada. Because now that it's gone down and lagged the general market, guess what the retail morons do? They are using the same logic they use to buy Shada. It went up a lot, so buy it. It went down, so sell it. When they could have just bought a total market index and a tax advantage accounts and gone on with their lives. But let's read this post by Kashmir79 four months ago. I wonder if he watched my debate. That'd be so funny because my debate with Kingdom was four months ago. Shada is the new QQQ. Now remember, QQQ is the NASDAQ 100 ETF. Why is that popular? It went up a lot. Shocker. What do I mean by that? Obviously, Shada is not a volatile growth fund of 100 tech stocks. What I mean is that Shada is one of my new favorite funds for novice investors. Uh-huh. Especially those prone to performance chasing. You mean to tell me people are potentially buying SCHD because it went up a lot? No, that, there's no way that's the reason why. It is a leader in the trendy must-have ETFs. For waves of newbies getting allocation advice, some reliable, some unreliable. I would say the vast majority unreliable. YouTube talking heads. Oh, yeah. Basically 95% unreliable. <laughs> Many new portfolio reviews, blah, 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 may often still include QQQ. But it feels like much of its shine has worn off since the last year's 30% drop. Oh, QQQ was popular when it went up. And then when it goes down, people sell. Wow. Retail is so smart, whereas dividends, 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 dividends are suddenly all the rage. There's nothing faker than dividend passive income. That is the fakest passive income 
of all history. It is an illusion of income. You are not generating income. Well, you are, according to the, the tax authorities, 100%. You're going to be taxed on it if it's not a tax advantage account. But it's not passive income, okay? It's a company taking cash from its bank account and transferring it to your bank account. That's basically it. The value of the company drops by the amount of dividends. Is this really hard? Okay. Go watch Joseph Carlson. Dividend investing is, you know what, can I say that word on YouTube? And it's no surprise. This tends to happen when a bear market arrives as it's the growth stocks that take the biggest haircut. Yeah, that's right. The retail clowns bought growth stocks when they were going up, and now they're selling growth stocks when they're going down, and they're buying uh, value stocks, dividend stocks, when they're going up. Or you could just buy the whole market and not time the difference, and because you you would normally normally tie it time it wrong, but that's what retail clowns are doing. And so the herd turns back, and you are a herd. You pat if somebody shills Shada, and they just oh go all in Shada, they're a noob. Okay. While it was rare to see any portfolio review without a tech growth tilt a year ago, today's new investor seems to covet dividend income, fake passive income. For reasons they all can't always explain. But, 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 but VT went, went up less than, uh, than, uh, than us, than us, so it's, it's, it's worse, bro. With value outperforming growth by 30% last year hmm, and lower share prices inflating the percentage yield of the same nominal size distribution. <laughs> I love this. The performance chasing crowds are loving what they see in the rear view mirror with top Divi funds. They're Dibby. D-I-B-B funds. Not to mention, and stop me if you've heard this before, Shada has beaten the S&P 500 since inception. You know, there was a point where ARK crushed the S&P 500. And oh, by the way, you know ARK has underperformed, VT. <laughs> well, whatever, it's the future, bro. So yeah, Shada is better because it went up more. Guys. Guys. I, I, I don't know why people refuse to acknowledge that I'm right on this. Okay, I am 100% right that you should not be buying Shada. There is no doubt in my mind. There's not a single iota of doubt in my mind that I am in the right when it comes to Shada. I try to explain the fake passive income. I try to explain to you you shouldn't buy stuff that goes up. And what do you guys do? You just point to past performance. That's all you can do, which is ridiculous. Because investing is about the future. All you clowns do your stock analysis and you look at the future of the company. But when it comes to your ETFs, you look at the past performance of the, the ETF share price. I don't understand this, okay? <laughs> U.S. Stocks Brew, what's wrong with Shada? Actually, not all that much uh, besides being highly selective and very narrowly focused and only has 100 stocks. But yeah, there's something wrong with it. If you only pay dividends for nine years straight, you don't get included. But if you pay dividends for 10 years, then you get included. Sure, many of us watch Ben Felix unapologi unapologetically explain how dividend, dividend orientation is a misguided attempt to improve returns. It actually reduces your returns because you pay taxes. That's because dividends themselves don't explain returns. They are merely a subset of total return. Yes. Yes. You know, VT has dividends too. That's right. It does. But... BT's massive future performance isn't going to be because it pays a dividend. No, it's going to be because of its allocation, market cap weighting, doesn't time the market, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Shada has dividends. Yes, but the price of all the companies when they pay the dividends goes down. So you have to add the dividend to the total return, but it's a wash. I know you don't understand that. Dividend distributions get deducted from share price, so it's not like the dividends receive are any net gain. Someone actually understands dividends, aka it's not free money. But, 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 but it is, bro. A little, a little passive income, bro. Nevertheless, Shada remains a good, low-cost, tax-efficient index fund that composes 100 very stable and profitable large U.S. companies. That seems very narrowly focused to me. I don't know about you. What about the small companies? What about the non-dividend payers? What about, uh, I don't know, Canadian companies? What about Japanese companies? What about Korean companies? What about all these other companies in the world? <laughs> they went up less, bro. Which can be probably be expected to outperform the market thanks to naive factor tilts. <laughs> Plus, as a value fund, it would be a serviceable diversifier 
to a growth-oriented fund like QQQ. Or you could just buy the S&P 500 and have value and growth. <laughs> Combine them and it's like you are two-fifths of the way to reconstruct the S&P 500. <laughs> this is so awesome. So as Ben Felix says, why don't we just leave dividend investors alone to enjoy their cash flows and their naive exposure to factors? Oh, man. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, 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 well, these are some things I might be concerned about when I see a new investor's portfolio. Uh, well, you know what I'm concerned about? It goes up, buy it. It goes down, sell it. Dividends, higher taxes, fake passive income. Shada is just 100 large U.S. companies. Not a trivial amount, but not much by the standards of VT with nearly 10,000 companies. But you have bad companies in there, strong man. And I know what the bad companies are because I just do. Because I'm a genius and I can predict the future. Adding Shada, you know, in a bad company can be undervalued. Oh, by the way, adding Shada to a mostly U.S. stock portfolio starts to really concentrate risk in fewer companies and overweight certain sectors. I have VOO, VTI, Shada, and uh, I'm so smart, and QQQ. Strongman, stupid. You're negating some amount of the benefit of concentrating in value and profitability factors with the uncompensated risk of overweighting fewer, larger individual stocks. And this is so common sense to me. Like, you don't even have to understand everything that this person is saying to know that you're narrowly focusing your investment into a very specific sector. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Illusion of safety. Many investors also express a misconception that dividend stocks are safe. If it pays a dividend, it must be safe. There's no possible way that something could happen to that company that massively destroys it. Oh, like Intel. Good job, Paul Gabriel. Perhaps not looking back before Shada's 2011 inception date to a year like 2008, when another high dividend fund, VYM, underperformed the market in a crash and lost more than 50% of its value. Shada is still just mostly large cap stocks in one country. All the same ones you can get in VTI. <gasps> mm. So I love roasting Shada Shields while I'm drinking beer. So when you see it held in combination with VTI, or <laughs> why would you combine those? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> if, if I see that, I, I don't care how smart you think you are. If you're combining Shada, VTI, and VU, you don't know. You don't understand the basics of investing, okay? It's not hard. It's often a missed opportunity for gaining more meaningful diversification like broad value, small cap value, international stocks, Bonds for real safety, well, short-term, high-quality bonds, or preferred shares if you truly require income. Performance chasing. Now, this is the coup de grace because you retail clowns, it is so predictable. An investor adding Shada in the last year smacks of performance chasing. <laughs> Kingdom's boiling right now. I love it. <laughs> but it went up more better than you. As I highlighted, the value premium has reemerged in this current bear market, and the herd, the clowns, that maybe got burned by 33 to 66% losses on QQQ or Tesla or Bitcoin, is rushing towards what's done well recently. Oh, this is like just a wash. This is such a breath of fresh air. It's like I could have wrote this. I didn't write it, though, I swear. Shada, in particular, has outperformed even many other dividend funds over the last two to three years. Perhaps thanks in part to the concentration of particular industrial and consumer defensive stocks that have succeeded in the unusual pandemic economy. Oh, that, that, that's going to last forever. And while having a value to it is generally not a bad idea, no, total market, a recent Shada ad is a signal that an investor may later change allocation again too late into whatever goes well next. A classic way that individual investors underperform the funds that they hold. Yep, clowns. Or you could just dollar cost average into VT for your whole life and you'll get the performance of VT. It's so hard. It's too hard, bro. You, you know how many times I've sold VT? Never. Never. Ever. Ever. I The the, the shares of the uh, mutual fund or the target retirement fund that I bought in 2011, I haven't sold those and it's 2023. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so hard, guys. Uh Fighting the last war. While a portfolio of VOR or VQQ or VUG and Shadat is reasonably diversified between U.S. large growth and U.S. large value, those are the last two stock styles that have done best in the recent years. 
Meanwhile, international stocks tend to outperform U.S. in alternating decades. But 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 are coming off their longest streak of underperformance in a century and are valued almost 50% cheaper than U.S. stocks. So it could be, and I emphasize, it still could be their turn. With VT, you're just letting it figure itself out, okay? I don't know if international stocks are going to outperform, but guess what? There is a historic pattern, and I think U.S. stocks have gone up a lot, and they could potentially be overvalued. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong, but guess what? There's a chance that I'm right, and there's a chance that a lot of you clowns will massively underperform in the next 10 years because you bought a bunch of stuff that went up a lot. I bet you some of you are buying NVIDIA now, aren't you? And you're, you're getting back into Palantir now, aren't you? And when Tesla ran back out, I bet you got into Tesla, didn't you? <laughs> this is especially true for emerging markets, which have had their values beaten down by China concerns in the war in Ukraine. But that stuff went down so it's bad so you shouldn't buy it but the stuff that went up just buy it bro it's a simple it's so it's so easy bro but which historically have higher long-term returns in u.s stocks plus bond fund yields are approaching five percent for the first time since the great financial crisis many new investors have no memory of the lost decade of 2000 2009s when dividends did you little good compared to bonds in emerging markets yeah emerging markets crushed u.s stocks <laughs> <laughs> but that's impossible, bro, because when I started investing in 2020, I'm better than you. One should be diversified across style, sectors, markets, and asset classes, so you're always holding the next winner as the market rotates. That's, that is such a key point right there. You know, guys, like, even if VT underperforms, I'm still going to be a millionaire because I'm not trading like a clown and buying stuff that goes up and selling stuff that goes down. I just chunk as much as I can into VT. And that's it. That's it. It's not hard. Dividend popularity cannibalizes yield. Finally, few new dividend fund investors realize that overvaluation can reduce expected future returns in dividend stocks, just like growth stocks. But the dividend's free money, strong man. Passive income. It's not as pronounced as a growth stock because increasing valuations for dividend and value stocks will move them outside of the fund's style screens. But consider the following. If dividend investors place a high value on the cash flow stream from dividend-paying stocks, they'll be willing to pay a premium for those cash flows above and beyond what a rational investor would. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, the, the, it's got a dividend. I'm going to pay whatever I got to pay for it. The result is, if that is the case, would be higher prices and lower expected returns for dividend-paying stocks when yield is in high demand. <sighs> Shada. The effect, I love it. The effect is more pronounced for stocks whose dividends are more stable or have increased in the recent past. Isn't, isn't Sh one of Shaddaa's factors? No, I think that might be noble. Shaddaa is like if you pay dividends for the past 10 years or something like that, then you get included, which is stupid. Dividend seeking investors are likely to buy dividend paying stocks at the same time as each other. <laughs> you're a bunch of hurt. You're a bunch of dopes. And this is important. You laugh at me all you want. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I will outperform you <laughs> with VT. They estimate that investors buying dividend-paying stocks during times of high demand have reduced their expected returns by roughly 2 to 4% per year. Oh, my God. Oh, that is huge, huge difference right there. So Shada is not the worst fund you can add to your portfolio. Or you can just have one fund and just call it a day. But don't think it's definitely safer. It's safe. It's a dividend dip it, dip than other stocks. And don't add it just because it's done well right lately. No, nobody's going to listen to you, man. This is too much common sense here. Performance chasing is hazardous. It's clownish. As is flocking to what everybody else is doing. Yeah, remember what happened uh, with uh, Bitcoin and Tesla? Just buy it, bro. And now NVIDIA. Dividends aren't expected to add extra return beyond what a value tilt can provide. I don't even agree with the value tilt thing. And they aren't as an adequate substitute for diversifying into small stocks, international stocks, or bonds. That also goes for the popular degrow. I've, I've heard of that one. I've, I think I made a video about that. Especially trendy covered call funds like Jeppy or QILT. Oh, my God. This is like the clown list right here. And this is all over YouTube. But don't listen to strong man. No, Jeppy did good the last year, and it's got a ten percent yield. And exchange traded notes, bro, should be thoroughly understood before one even considers them. As always, 
Unless you are 100% certain whatever customized stock weightings you design is something you will stick with long-term and not flip-flop strategies, consider a simple, timeless total market fund like VT. This is key right here. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. What if it took me to like a, a bad site? <laughs> Read this one more time. Unless you are 100% certain whatever custom stock weightings you design for yourself is something you will stick with long-term and not flip-flop strategies, if it underperforms, consider a simple total market fund like VT. I guarantee you, you clowns are such bussy hands that you will sell stuff that underperforms. But guess what you can't do with VT? Well, I mean, you could sell VT, duh. But it's not like multiple ETFs in your account. It's one ETF. What do you, you, if you sell it, you got to sell the whole thing. You can't sell one part of your portfolio and allocate it to the other. You could just buy VT, put as much money as you possibly can, focus on growing your income instead of researching stunks all the time, and you're going to be much better off. Okay, I'm actually going to do a portfolio reveal in the next couple of days. My portfolio is higher, even though the market's down. Crazy. How does how does how does how did strongman get wealthier while the market is down 15, 20%? I wonder if he made a bunch of money and put it all into index funds. No, but but, but shit. <laughs> okay, then they talk about the three fund portfolio. So everybody's doing their comments, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's some of the requirements of Shada. Minimum of 10 years of consecutive dividend payments. Okay, so nine years of dividend, nine and a half years of dividend payments don't qualify. Uh, minimum adjusted market cap of 500 million. So if you're 499 million, you don't qualify. No, you might be the next 10X company. Uh, minimum three month average daily trading volume of $2 million. Trade bro, blah, 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 blah. So it's a bunch of garbage. Okay, this is just a bunch of random stuff thrown together and people are buying it because it happened to outperform. And oh, guess what? There's always going to be a sector out there that outperforms. At, over a certain time period from 2000 to 2005 maybe small cap weed stocks with uh handless ceos maybe they outperformed but that doesn't mean in two, 2023 you buy small cap growth weed stocks with handless ceos that don't have freaking hands they just have stumps because they outperformed in the beginning of the 2000s D does this make any sense at all and here's the funniest part i'll cap this all off with this Look at these posts, okay? <laughs> Shada's nearing $70. Is Shada really the best? Here's one clown. I went full ape on Shada. Okay, good luck to you. Shada underperformance. At what point should I stop getting Shada and start getting Vu? <laughs> Shada, have we been shilled? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Shada's new QQQ. I love it. I love it. All the clowns are changing their minds. This is what I've been railing against all this time. This is the beauty of VT. You cannot go wrong with it. Okay. Well, you can sell it when it goes up, down, and buy it when it goes. You can be a total clown, but if you have a 30 or 40 year time horizon, what better way to, you know, at least preserve your wealth and grow it at a decent rate? than buying a total global market index fund and growing your wealth as the world becomes wealthier, which I think it will personally. But Shada went up a lot. Keep buying it, get the dividends, pay the taxes, sell it, pay massive taxes there. <laughs> get freaking wrecked. So there's my roast of Shada. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Very calm. I wasn't screaming. It's too late. My kids are asleep. Shada! Hey, strong man. Dividends. I wish dividends were free money, man. I would be buying dividends too. I'd ask you to. <laughs> oh my God. I was debating if I should go all in Shada. Man, come on, man. It's not the worst ETF in the world, but it's like, it, it's just a very, very narrow ETF. And it has outperformed. Usually when something outperforms massively, it tends to revert back to the mean. Dividend by evident. And a tax advantage. Okay. Okay. I guess that's fine then, right? <laughs> Does VT pay international withholding taxes? You don't get the foreign tax credit because I believe how you have to qualify for that is at least 50% of the fund's holdings have to be international for you to be able to claim the foreign tax credit. But I don't really care because most of mine's in uh, 
tax advantage accounts, number one. And then number two, the simplicity of the VT portfolio and the reduction of the temptation to allocate between international and U.S. by only having one fund because you literally can't. That is worth more to me than getting the tax credit. But there's there's definitely ways like to maximize the foreign tax credit, like doing VTI and VXUS. But I prefer to have VT where I cannot tinker with it. I cannot tinker with it because it's one ETF. I can't sell VT and buy VT. Or I could, but I'd be a clown. Oh, almost dropped that. Hold on a second. Test, 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 test. Okay, you can hear me. Too many clown stocks still in the market. Recession hasn't even started. I hope the economy gets destroyed. You know how rich I'm going to be if stocks keep going down and I keep buying? Mm. Using that clown came of finance, the Ferrari stock will be ignored and miss out on all those gains. Dude, U.S. stocks went up more. Buy them. Fake bullheads. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mike, that guy was such a scam. Shada my ho-ha. You should sue me, Mike. I'll counter sue you. Hi, how's it going? It's good. Buy high, sell low. That's what people are doing with Shada. Did you ever hear about Shada before like 2020? I never did. But oh, it went up a lot. So oh, suddenly it's popular. That's crazy. Are you going to wait for Palantir to drop again before? No, man. God. Look, I was making fun of Palantir when it was going up massively. Okay. Go look at my own. Nobody could say that I don't, that I'm very selective with my videos. I definitely made fun of Palantir when it's in the 20s. Don't even, don't even act. Happy Memorial. Same to you, buddy. <clears throat> you should get Jeremy to review your portfolio. I would love to see that. Keep hating on your fans' favorite ETF, my imminent. I, I, I'll hate on my fans all I want. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what are you going to do? Unsubscribe? Ruin my life? Inflation, my cremation. How about VYM? VT. Are dividends the future? 100%. Where's Auditor Dan? He's mad. He's boiling right. I let that jerk on my channel. <laughs> Shada. There's no A at the end. Call it shid. <laughs> I like Shada. It's popular. Glasses double your IQ. Yeah, I have more viewers than normal because I'm talking normally and I'm wearing glasses. It's crazy. But then that's boring. Not sure why you rip on dividends when they have contributed to 40. Oh, my God. I'm not. Even... Look, I've already explained it. I'll talk about this in another day. It's getting late. Why are you wearing a shirt? What a grifter. I'm sorry. To the past 15 years performance of Shada versus VT. <gasps> oh my God. You mean it went up more? Okay, I guess I should buy the thing that went up more. <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm trying to explain this to you. Let's see. Ba 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 ba. All right, let me do some more selective comments. USA have unlocked the secret of max money printing. No more need for international since this QE cheat code was discovered. I mean, there's a thousand different reasons why you might not want to buy international stocks, or you could just own the entire world market because that's the whole point of indexing. Let's see. Every time I look at Shada, I keep thinking of income tax schedule D. Well, that's for uh, sales. Schedule B would be for. Uh, dividends but i guess the clowns are selling shada now so it would pop up on their schedule d that, that i guess that's correct you don't seem to like dividend etfs i don't care about dividends let's see since the monetary supply expands to seven percent per year on average no it doesn't <laughs> what no that was a, this is a fluke the the money supply was growing at like or at least inflation was like two percent they were talking about different things here. But inflation was like 2% up until the clown market, okay? Not really increasing your purchasing power. Any, I've debunked I've debunked this, okay? Big brain move. VTIVO, Shada, QQQ, Ark, and Palantir. <laughs> Man, that is, if, that's, if that's on a retail portfolio, I don't know what is. What do you think about QCOM? That'll cost you, buddy, 50 bucks. Da, 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 da. What else do we have to determine perform? What makes you think VT will do well in the next? Actually, I'm telling you, VT is actually probably a better bet because if you look at the cycles of performance, if you look at past performance, if you look at history, you can see that there's alternations. There's alternating performance, international outperforms. U.S. outperforms. International outperforms. U.S. outperforms. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen in the future. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But what I can tell you is if you're using history 
VT is actually a better bet. And actually, 100% international is actually a better bet, technically. I don't think you should do that. But actually, VT is a better bet. So <laughs> looking at past performance actually shows you that VT is a better bet. People don't understand that. <clears throat> I can smell euphoria. My friend finally exited loose and had major loss. Consider it. <laughs> I love it, man. Just don't buy clown stocks. You don't have to short them. Just don't buy them. Mm. Strong man Dahmer. I don't have time to be a Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm too busy. How about your portfolio? 50% VT, 30%, 20% speculation. I still think you have too much in individual stocks, personally. But that's better than most, I'll tell you that. When you think SEO to above 1 million, it's been like that. I mean, a million is still a lot for most people, man. Most people still can't qualify to be accredited investors. To be honest, I am not hating on dividend investors. I think dividend investing is more better than not investing. Well, I mean, I could agree with that statement. But overall, people like, I don't think a lot of people understand dividends. And to be honest, I didn't understand them either. For a long time, I did not understand. And I remember when I would see my, uh, at the end of each year, my target retirement fund would pay out my capital gains and dividend distributions. And I would get super excited about it because I was getting my dividends. And then eventually I realized the value of my fund didn't go up with the dividend and it showed up on my taxes. I was like, wait a minute. The, I'm getting screwed here. What's going on? <laughs> with your logic, NVIDIA investors are wrong. VT is better when NVIDIA has made more gains. Uh, yeah, because you can't predict what stocks are going to 10x like that. There's always going to be somebody that buys a stock and it makes a ton of money. But that, that does not justify getting into the stock after it makes a ton of money. The average person will underperform the market. I 100% guarantee you. 100% guarantee you. Even if they buy indexes. You look at past performance of Shadab, a VT will outperform because I'm a psychic grifter. <laughs> I told you, I just explained to you why. She, and, even if, and VT doesn't have to outperform. It really doesn't. It's the philosophy behind it. It sets you on the right path where you're not performance chasing. You're not buying and selling different crap and paying taxes. You're owning a true index. You don't make decisions. You let the market, the active participants of the market decide for you. And yes, I do look at history. Do I have to pull the chart for the thousandth time? I'm not doing it tonight. Let's see. Get strong man sack out of here about this pathetic. <laughs> Hmm. Zotain Kid, I hope he is. Kid Fresh is making me money. VT works at age 24. At age, it's deeply flawed. How? What do you know? It's not. It, it works. I will have VT my whole life. I will die. And probably 50 or 60% of my portfolio will be VT. You, you could always have VT, but you transition into bonds as you get older. I have 25% tattooed chef, 25% cash, 50% <laughs> Tesla, and 100%. <laughs> Uh, cash isn't that bad. It's paying high yields. But strong, man. Dividends are the future, bro. Adding principal to your portfolio doesn't count in your returns. That's what Joseph. I'm, I I get the performance of VT. I'm not saying I've outperformed VT. I have not. I get the performance of VT. With every share lot I purchase, I don't sell it. And I literally will not sell it for 30 or 40 years. I'm not joking. And think about that. I'm 33 right now. I'm not going to sell what I'm buying right now for third for my entire lifetime over again. Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot higher. Okay, I'm just that's my suspicion. Just saying. Do the last 30 years of VT versus gold. Oh god. Yeah, okay, go buy your shiny rock. <laughs> Let's see. Da, 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 da. Short NVIDIA? No, don't short anything. Let's see. Why don't you do VTIV so you can get for it? Because I don't want to be tempted to tinker with my portfolio. VT has NVIDIA and Tesla. Shada doesn't. That's true. You guys are laughing at me because I don't have NVIDIA. I actually do have NVIDIA in my portfolio. <laughs> 
I got those sweet gains. Oh, baby. 50% R, 50% Peppa. Can you do a mega yacht on, you can see. On <laughs> I love you people. You, you people crack me up. Uh, so Strongman, what are you talking about? Oh, don't worry. I know who you are, buddy. Don't worry. PDI is coming up on my list. I had to get through all my paid videos. I'm ready for PDI. Trust me. It's coming. Woo, baby. <laughs> I can't wait. What is his name? Dividend Bowl. I'm going to destroy him. How can you bash anything that's up 40% in the past five years, not including dividends? or Because I'm just a jerk. I'm just a butthead. I'm just jealous, okay? And you know what's funny? Most of the people that own Shada probably have like 10 grand in their investments. I have a, way more money than that, okay? I'm doing pretty well for myself. So you can you can laugh about your Shada outperformance because you bought it in 2020 during the clown market. I'm, I'm still going to achieve my retirement objectives. I will be a millionaire, 100%. Laugh all you want. Ooh, not going to lie, the hit you get when paying a dividend. Oh, oh, I, I 100% agree with that. I 100% agree with that. But it's deceptive. That's the problem. Give us an M, 3M update. I mean... Last I heard, there was the veteran lawsuit, a bunch of lying veteran scum. Ooh, boy, I can't hear. And then they all passed the hearing test. But who freaking knows what's going to happen with that? Vanguard is paying you to say that. I wish. <laughs> this shirt proves my I, – I really wish they were. Uh, let's see. Why do you only believe in short-term bonds? Long-term bonds only have a slight more risk. No. Go look at TLT when interest rates went up. If you want to really preserve your money, and yes, inflation will hurt you, obviously. But if you want stability above anything else, you want high quality, uh, very short duration bonds because they are less subject to interest rate risk. And by owning treasuries, you basically eliminate uh, credit risk. So I'm not saying you, you can make more money in long-term bonds if you time it right. If rates get cut, if rates are high and then rates get cut massively, long-term bond prices will go up more than short-term bonds. But if you're trying to preserve and you want to be able to sell it pretty soon, I think short-term bonds are the more way to go. Just saying. Let's say only if I entered it, and I was buying it's uh, graphics cards. I didn't like NVIDIA because I always thought the cards were expensive. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't afford this. Okay, Joseph Cross withdrawn. Sounds like you bought more shares when the market was lower. I, I always buy shares when the market's lower. I don't stop buying VT. Okay, look, I have a paycheck that's getting deposited. <sighs> when is it getting deposited? Probably the first, 31st. Guess what? I'm taking $1,000 from my paycheck and I'm buying, I'm putting 500 in my IRA and 500 in my wife's IRA. And I'm buying VT. It's not hard, okay? It's $1,000. He can hug and pet his shiny rock, but he can't do that with VT. That's true. <laughs> oh, it's coming, buddy. Don't worry. Should feel, yeah, exactly. You can have VT your entire life. $50. I would love to do that. I'm not even joking. I would 100% do that. Don't Oh, you. And that'll trust me. That'll be worth your money. 100%. <laughs> I used to sell that stuff. It is. I'll agree. It's deceptive. It is. It is. You are ugly. You're ugly. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> How are dividends deceptive? Tell that to Warren. Oh my God. All right, you guys. I'm. I'm about done here. It's late. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Cheers.